Oh, that's top secret. <laughs> Was it practice related or game related? Game related. Okay, so what, what do you, when you go look back at your linebackers who had to do a lot of different things in that game, uh -huh. what did you think they did well and what were the things maybe you'd like to see improvements? They really helped in under coverage. I think that helped with uh, not giving up those explosive passes down the field. I think our back end felt comfortable staying on top, which was a game plan of ours, make them have to put long drives together to score. What do you feel like they could have been wrong when you look back? There, there's some times just consistency. There's just times where, you know, we didn't quite get there. You know, just cleaner eyes, really. Cleaner eyes, seeing high hat, low hat, run, run pass. So those quick perimeter throws, uh -huh. Was that I mean, with the feeling is that's okay? They're gonna have to make a lot of those to get yeah, down the field. Yeah, and, and that's what happened. They, you know, as teams go and you make them put together 10 to 14 play drives, they go to false start. Now, you know, they, they end up doing something to help us. If we don't do things to put ourselves in a hole, make them have to go long, right? Not let them get those 50, 40 yard passes that create big plays so they can score. Was he bad? That quarterback, though, was he? I mean, what kind of a challenge did he give you guys on He's Saturday? a very good player. Their, uh, their skill, like I said before the game, is, is extremely talented. A lot of guys that, I mean, long, I mean, three, six, five, they're fast. That number 14 was an extremely good athlete. Um, quarterback's a good player. So we knew that they were going to be a struggle, and they had, uh, they had the weapons on offense to, to give us problems. And I thought, for the most part, we handled it well. So if, if, if by what you're saying, it feels like that was probably a good test going into this. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, the, they, we, it's a great when you can get put in stress in situations and, and come out on top. We got put in, I mean, probably every situation in football the other night. I mean, kickoff after a safety, uh, a safety of our own, uh, having to rebound after a, safe, a touchdown on special teams, being put out there after a recovered onside kick, having to win the game on defense. So there was just so many situations that you may never get in a season we got in one night that we can really learn from. How did it go for you in this kind of first go round in, the, in this system, in your kind of new duties, right? Yeah, uh, went well. It went well. Enjoyed it. Uh, you know, there, there's things that was great to see of, of little things that we can improve on, tips we can give the players so they can be in the right spaces faster. Um, and, and I think that that's going to help us carry over into this week. What is the exact nature of your duties on, on the sideline? Sideline just. I mean, without saying too much, just communication between me and Coach Diaka, who's in the box with the linebackers, you know, and, and detailing out really the front seven. And yep. what does this week, uh, week mean to you going back to Oregon, uh, your, your history in that state and obviously in Oregon State? Uh, well, just the wind's big. Uh, that's number one. But, yeah, going back there, I mean, I'm familiar with the area, familiar with the opponent, uh, played against them, coached against them for a long time. So, yeah, to go up there, it'll be exciting, but, again, the most important thing is getting that second win. Have you been back to Oregon a lot since you've been in Nebraska? No, probably maybe maybe twice just because of recruiting. 